It is I, the Armor God, and today I am going to bless your anus with this quick and easy tutorial of how to make something spawn or despawn through trigger activation. Traditionally, I see most people use scripting to perform this same function, and this example requires absolutely no scripting whatsoever. Piece of advice, use the Eden Enhanced and Zeus Enhanced mods. It'll make your life hell of a lot easier for mission creation, Zeusing, whatever. So what can you use this method for? You can use this method for almost anything that has to do with in-game sequences, like an ambient flyby, an ambush, or maybe you want hostiles spawning at a specific spot if players cross a certain point in your mission. I use this function in almost every single mission I develop for Task Force Trauma. It is super useful and uh, you can get quite creative with it. This is meant for in-game entities. What is an in-game entity? An object that you place in-game. All right, let it be a prop, a vehicle, a person, whatever. That's what I'll classify from here on out as an entity. Now, if you wanted a module, like a respawn point or something to appear or disappear throughout a mission, let me know in the comments below because how that works is a little bit different than how this works. Why don't we get into it? We're gonna go up here to the top right to triggers and we're gonna place down a handy dandy little trigger. Then we're gonna head on over to systems and you're gonna type in show. You're gonna drop down a couple of these modules here. Boink, 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 like so. And now I'm gonna come over here and grab all of the entities I desire for this example. So I want this guy, I want that guy. I'm gonna grab a few flags. I have everything I need. We're gonna go ahead and start customizing these modules. So I'm gonna highlight them, go to attributes, and you'll see that we've got two drop-down options here. Apply to is just essentially what the module is looking for. I always use synchronized objects only. It works 100% of the time, and I've never had an issue with it. That's what I use. I don't have any desire to look at the other options. I don't care. Next is action. You have two actions here, to show or hide something. And I'm going to enable one of my modules to show. Now, I'm gonna head on over to the trigger. If you would like a full breakdown of how triggers work, let me know in the comments, then maybe I'll produce a video along those lines, all right? So under activation, select the appropriate activation that you want for your mission. So for example, if you want it to be activated when a player crosses a point, use that. If you want it for op four, blue four, etc., to cross a point, be inside of it, outside of it, whatever the case may be, just apply whatever it is that you want. For this, I'm going to apply op four, not present. So when up four is not in the trigger, it will fire. Then I'm gonna grab homeboy here and stick him in there. To make my life a little bit easier, so the AI doesn't do anything that I don't want him to do, I'm gonna set him to stand and I'm gonna disable all of his features. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here and the intent behind this example. Maybe you have an area that is occupied by op four and you want your players to go into that area to destroy them. And this is just a fun little thing for immersion, maybe, okay? So we got this red flag here to represent the op four flag. Op four control this position. And when blue four controls the position, I want it to change to the blue four flag. I'm going to put one hide unit module on my blue four flag. And that is the first step and it is done. This flag will not appear in game when I play. So if I just launch my game right now, this flag would not exist because it is hidden by the module. Next, I'm gonna grab my other hide module and I'm gonna sync that to my op four flag and the trigger. So when the trigger activates, the flag disappears. Lastly, I'm going to have my show unit module synced to the blue four flag and to the trigger. So when the trigger activates, it'll take my hidden blue four flag and spawn it. So what's gonna happen is when up four is not present in the trigger, this flag is going to despawn and this flag is going to spawn, representing that up four no longer controls that area. Furthermore, I am going to put them in the exact same location so it simply looks like you are using the same flagpole. You lowered their flag and you raised your own, right? And here is me that so I'm going to use the example for. I'm gonna hop into the arsenal, 
grab this boy from the Western Sahara CDLC. Highly recommend it, it's a great DLC. We're just gonna pop in here and test out the trigger. So you'll see that we got Broski right here, and there's only one flag present. When Broski is doink, the blue four flag appears. Pretty awesome, right? And like I said, you can get really creative with this. You can be using it to spawn friendlies, spawn bad guys, spawn civilians, whatever the case may be. If you would like to see a full mission development example, let me know in the comments as well. That is it for today. I appreciate everybody for stopping by and uh, let me know what you use this example for. You can be using it for quite a lot of things and let me know what you come up with. Bye-bye.